Black Americans face persistent health care disparities. Part of the problem is that patients are identifying with their health care providers. News 4's Derek Ward shows us how Howard University is hoping to break barriers through its pharmacy program. Pharmacists are a vital part of the health care equation. But they're doing more than just counting the pills. You'll find pharmacists in research. They work for insurance companies and in hospital settings as well. But actually, you know, going to patients' rooms, making sure that they're up to date with their medications, they're um, taking, there's no interactions between their medications, and just overall patient safety. And they've been called upon even more since the pandemic, administering vaccines and administering a personal approach to health and healing. And as the medication experts, we're able to see, well, maybe you need a little bit more, maybe you need a little less, maybe you need to go um, take this at a different time of day. Of the 315,470 U.S. pharmacists recognized by the Department of Labor, only 3.9 percent, or just over 12,000, are African American. Why is that important for patients? It's about trust. They are much more likely to, you know, be adherent to their medications, be adherent to follow-ups and things like that when their practitioners look and sound like them. This college has a long tradition of turning out people in this profession. They've taught pharmacy here since 1868. They've had a standalone college since 1882. Today, the profession can offer salaries that are typically near or above six figures. But the motivations for these Howard students go beyond the financial. Being from the South, I saw a lot of health disparities. Quincy Britt's post-undergrad work as a clinical research coordinator made the anecdotal empirical. Health disparities, health inequities, um, and I just really want to close the gap. Likewise, Jelani Smith saw a need at home. Um, I come from one of the poorest counties in uh, North Carolina. It's called Columbus County, and we had one pharmacy, but that closed down, and we only had one grocery store, the Piggly Wiggly. He's already served his country as a military air traffic controller. Now he wants to serve his county in an equally important role, being bilingual, he'll be doing double duty. I want to go back and open up now the only pharmacy um, owned by an African-American and Latino uh, man. It's a competitive field. You need to pass subjects like organic chemistry and physics just to get into the School of Pharmacy. This school and these students want to make sure that the profession reflects society in general. So imperative. Derek Ward, News 4.